Trish is going to make me a very special pear dish. It's honey baked pears with white chocolate and saffron sauce. You are so right. <laughs> That's it's, a very long title. <laughs> but it sounds mouth watering. It's they sounds absolutely beautiful. They are, and it's a bit different for us. We usually do a cake or a yes. slice. So now I've got a fruity dessert mm. with a yummy, a yummy sauce to go with it. Yeah, absolutely. I think we should get on to those pears though yep. first up. Mm -hmm. What we need to do is prepare the sort of poaching liquid for those. Mm -hmm. So we need to combine a number of ingredients into that baking dish. Okay, so some sugar so over some here. Some sugar and some honey, otherwise they wouldn't be honey baked pears. Mm -hmm. Some butter. Okay, butter. So that'll help to make like a caramelline sort of caramelise it up. Mm -hmm. And some honey. We've just put that in the microwave really quickly so it melts. And a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about that is that now goes into the oven in a really hot oven, 220, for around about five minutes until that's all sort of combined and melted. And that butter is melted too. Oh, yeah. I like the sound of this. I never do my pears like this, but great idea. No, it's quick. All right, in they go. All right, whilst that's in the oven, yes. we're going to make the sauce here. So yes. into the little saucepan here, I've got some water, about half a cup. Mm -hmm. And I've got some honey as well, mm -hmm. just to sweeten it a little extra. Half a teaspoon of saffron. Ooh, saffron gives it that subtle floral mm -hmm. flavour, doesn't it? And the beautiful colour. Yeah, the, I mean, it's, it will start to stain this, won't mm -hmm. it? That's right. Talk to me about the pears that we're using today. These are little corellas. The little mm -hmm. corellas are usually sort of green and with splodges of red, yes. sort of rusty colour yep. on them. Yep. They're great for this. You, they, you usually buy them quite firm and mm. they're usually for cooking yep. more so than the William pears or the Burbosk or whatever. Well, they hold their shape nicely, won't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. A bit yep. like Granny Smith's. It's, mm. They're sort of, yeah, they're, they're the pear of Absolutely. pear version. And you can see what we've done here. We've just placed uh, the pears, the peel pears, into some water with some lemon and that'll stop them going brown yep, so, so they oxidise quite fast. Okay, I think it might yes. be time to uh, get that pan out of the I'll oven. I'll get that. And I'm going to turn this off and let that stand. Okay. Ooh, look Whoa. at that. Perfect. Hot, bubbly, buttery mm. honey. <laughs> no, no, it looks good, doesn't it? You can put the pears in there. Great. So drain them off. And these go straight back into the oven? They do. They'll go in for almost half an hour. Half an hour. And we're not turning them too much. I don't think it would hurt to, to turn them over yep. towards the end of the cooking. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, we only That's just made it there. A perfect fit. <laughs> it is perfect fit. All right, right. Back in the oven. Back in they go. OK, now that that's had its time to sit, I brought it back up to a simmer. I'm going to pour it into the bowl there. Look how beautiful and Ooh. bright it is. And the smell. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's amazing, strong, isn't it? <laughs> now we need to put 150 grams of the white chocolate melts into that almost straight away. A couple more. And it's kind of like as if you were making a ganache, mm. except it's got the water mixture rather than cream. So I guess all we need to do now is wait for those pears to finish roasting. Mm -hmm. They'll collapse a little bit, shrink a little bit too. They will. And yes. then once that's done, we simply serve it with this sauce. Yummy. Oh, oh, we can't wait to try this one. <laughs> So good. Delicious. <laughs> you can smell the toffee and it's it's gone to that colour that I love. I like how it's a bittersweet mm. flavour with that toffee. Beautiful. All right, let's maybe put some sauce in the bottom, do you think? I think that's Look a great idea. The, I the know. the colour is. Beautiful. A big pull? I think so. Yeah. Might as well make it worth people's let's, while. Let's make it the deep end, hey? Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Look how pretty. One more. Nice, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to give you some little pears. Oh, oh yum. This is a, a really simple dessert to put together, mm -hmm. but in regards to the way it looks, it looks elegant. It looks super dressed up, I, I think. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to give it a little bit of crunch on the side. A little bit of biscotti on the side. We're using some chocolate and coconut biscotti, mm -hmm. but you can use any biscotti you like. Trishy, you've done it again. Mm -hmm. I love that combination, a sauce, some beautiful pears that have been caramelised in the oven and a bit of crunch takes it to the next level with the biscotti. Yummo! Beautiful.